Take your hammer. See as I push down. Once this is mounted back up. So let's see it. There she telling myself this is stupid. Okay, here is the cable modem that I have. Um, I'll put the model number up on the screen. Obviously, it's a Netgear. The issue I started having um, about a month or about a month and a half ago is that the modem will just lock up. And so I'll come in here. Sometimes the light will be blinking. Sometimes it won't be. But all the computers and everything, you'll get a message saying no internet. So I'll come in here and look, and or my wife will or something, and. Every time the solution is you just unplug it, unplug the cable modem or the router, what is this, this cable modem, unplug the cable modem, plug it back in, it does its little thing, and it starts working again. Um, and so that had been the solution for a while when the problem was happening randomly. I'm, I'm talking about like once a month, once every three weeks. But it slowly started getting worse. Um, to where it was happening every day and then twice a day. So what I've been doing is experimenting with what could be the problem. And my, my assumption is, just based on experience with other electronic devices, that it's heat. You know, these are passively cooled. So what that means is there's no fan or anything. There may be a heat sink in there. But it just, it just accounts on natural convection currents you know hot air rises up through the little holes and sucks cold air in that's how it cools itself there's no fan so what I've been doing I started about um, a month ago and I have this this little fan right here so this is a you it's a rechargeable fan it's you could just there is a uh, if you look there's a USB port on it so you can plug this into your computer or a wall charger, phone charger, and recharge it. But what I did is I had it plugged into a charger and I just stuck it right here and I would turn it on. It has three speeds. And I actually just put it on this low speed right here. And I had it plugged in so it wouldn't the battery wouldn't go dead. And as soon as I did that my problem stopped. And then this thing sat here and ran for I think I I just it ran for like two weeks with no problems and then one day so I'm thinking well maybe I need to do something permanent so before I do that let me just do an experiment so I turned the fan off and the next day it locked up I turned the fan on rebooted it and except for when I started this video it's been running fine so obviously heat is the problem for this one and that's the first thing to try so if you're having a problem do something. I have a little fan. I mean, whatever you can do to get air blowing over this thing. Um, see if that's what your issue is, regardless of the make, because there's a really good chance that's your problem. Now, in this case, it is my problem. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pursue a more permanent or a less rigged fix. So let me get the stuff together and I'll show you what my plan is. Okay, what I'm going to use to power the uh, cooler is a uh, computer fan. It's 12 volts, uses 0.16 amps. Now these will run like at 5 volts, 7 volts, and 12 volts. Um, your standard USB is 5 volts, like uh, one of these. Can you see that? Yeah, like one of these. So to get the max power, we'll run at 12 volts on this one. So. Now I looked on Amazon, and I'll put a picture up here. I've never used it, so I can't endorse it, but they do make USB powered fans like this, which would probably work. But I already have, I've got like three or four, I don't know what I bought them for, I've had them for a while, but I've got like a box of these things. So 
Something I always do is uh, I keep all the little wall warts and all kind of accoutrements in here. That's something I would recommend you do if you know, you're throwing stuff away. Don't throw away these little power supplies. So let's see what we got. Output. This one's six volts. I don't want that. These look pretty beefy. Output nine volts. Nine volts. Oh my god, nine volts. Nine volts. Let's see how this thing runs on nine volts. So make sure it works. So I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, so we're gonna test it. The inside is positive and the outside's negative. This is DC voltage, so it really doesn't matter. You could have it reversed, you would just get a negative reading for the voltage. But let's see what this thing is really putting out. Oh wow, can y'all see that? Yeah, it says 13 volts. Well, that's pretty cool. Alright, well that's just gonna work fine and dandy. So what I'm gonna do basically adapt this to this. These two will be the power wires. These are the ones we're concerned with. This is the third wire. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe that's how it gets 12 volts. Plug this for this connector. It has a negative and a probably a negative 5 and a positive 7 or negative 7, positive 5, and you get 12 volts is the difference. So maybe that's what this wire is for, is for this, this connector. Yeah. That's probably it. Or maybe not. But we don't need this one. Okay, since these two go in here, these two can power the fan by itself. So these are the these are the two wires we're going to be concerned with. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we want to figure out which one of these is positive and which one's negative. So if we have it hooked up correctly, and positive is on the inside. So I'm talking about which one of these wires to the fan wants positive and which one wants negative. We want the fan to spin this way because that's blowing air out and that's the way this fan's supposed to run. So I'm going to just take a guess. I'm going to stick this in here. All right. I'm going to touch this. This is just DC voltage, so it's not going to shock you or nothing. I'm going to touch this on here, and we'll see which way the fan blows, if it works. Oh. Yeah, that's a good amount of air. It's super quiet. It's plenty of air for what we're doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is the one that wants positive. So I'm just going to tie a knot in it. So now we know that's the one that wants positive. So Can you see this? All right, so we're going to cut this. Oh, wow, copper wire. Blast from the past. 
Um, plug it back in. All right, so now we're gonna figure out which one of these is positive. Just take a guess here. So we got minus 13 volts. That is not what we want. We want positive 13 volts. So let's go this way. Yeah, 13 volts. So you can see, I'm holding it this way. I got 13 volts. That tells me this red one is the positive. So tie knot in it. Turn off the meter. All right, now let's put these little suckers together. Okay, what I'll do is I'm gonna get a fresh um, strip on these wires. That's for the positive. This is for the negative. That's positive. All right, now we're getting somewhere. See if it comes on. Yep, all right, so let me unplug it. It's just not there. There we go, all right. Okay, here's our fan. Let's plug it in. I'm gonna use two-sided tape. Put a strip down here, and a strip down here. And I might put some right, depends on how thick it is, and I'm just gonna stick this right to the modem. Okay, I've got the uh, tape on the fan. So let me peel it off. Like I said, you got to get it where you want it because once you put this tape on there, it ain't coming off. Ooh. So, there. okay, so there's the fan. It's mounted. It's running. Um, let me turn it so you can see it. And it's obviously it's super slow. It doesn't even make any noise. There's the cable that we soldered to the little power wall wart power brick thing. And you can see there's pretty much not an air gap here that tape really worked good to seal it up but this has been I have to look at the let me think so it's been at least a week since I actually you saw me tape the fan on there 
and you know I wanted to wait and make sure this is but it's been running a week when I wanted to wait and make sure this worked but it's been running a week like this and so I, I call this case closed that's my permanent solution so if you're having this issue definitely give ventilation to your cable modem a try um, and I hope it works for you because it worked for me I was about to I was right on the edge of pushing the button to order another cable modem and I'm like let me just let me just see if heat's the problem and I'm glad I did that I appreciate you watching this and I hope this helps you fix your problem see y'all later okay ow mother mm. It's hot up here too, in case y'all are curious. Just because your room doesn't come with a microwave doesn't mean it doesn't come with a convection oven. <laughs>